Hey everyone, welcome back to Playing Quietly. My name is Ryan and today I'm bringing you another Baldur's Gate 3 guide. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the strongest possible start for any Githyanki character in Act 1. Of course, I'm talking about going after the Silver Sword of the Astral Planes, but I'm going to be showing you how to get it in the fastest and most efficient way possible so that we can start being overpowered super quickly in the game. So before we dive in, let's go over a checklist of some of the things we're going to need. We're gonna need to be at least level three so that Gale has access to the invisibility spell. Next, we're gonna need a character who has access to command. This is lucky for us because Shadowheart is gonna have that right out the box. Next, we're gonna need an invisibility potion that we are going to get from Auntie Ethel in the Evergreen Grove. And the last thing isn't something that is needed, but something that I highly recommend is getting the Gloves of Missile Snaring. This is gonna help us in the fight with Voss's guards so that we don't take as much damage. All right, so let's jump into things now. All right, so first thing first, once we are aboard the ship, we are just gonna go through as normal and clear things out until we get to Shadowheart. All right, guys, so now that we have Shadowheart in our party, what we want to do is open up her spell book and do a little bit of rearranging. What we're absolutely going to need is command. So now that we've swapped in command, we can continue on as normal. I recommend clearing out these guys just so we can get that extra bit of experience. And, of course, we are also going to want to loot all the stuff that we can. All right, so now that we have reached Commander Zalk, what we're going to do with Shadowheart is we're going to practice the method that we're going to be using. But first, we want to make a save, just in case we fail here. So now we are going to make... Now we're going to make Shadowheart cast Command Drop Weapon on Commander Zalk. So you see there he got his saving throw. So all we're going to do is reload the previous save and try it again. And we see that time we got him to drop the weapon. So now we're simply going to have Shadowheart come over here and pick up the weapon. And we're going to equip it. <clears throat> Sorry, on Lizel. We're going to have Lizel equip it and we're going to finish it out from here all right so now that we're on the beach we are just going to go pick up shadow heart right quick and do a little bit of looting along the way Once we get Shadowheart, we're just going to move our way up the beach and again do a little bit of looting. We just want to make sure that we have enough gold to buy that potion and the pair of gloves. All right, so next thing's next. We're going to sneak up here and take out the enemies in this room. Oh dear. All right, that didn't go exactly according to plan, but no worries. So if we take a look at our gold now, we already have enough to buy the potion, so we are in good shape. Oh, I forgot the dead Mind Flayer up here. Mind Flayers are usually worth looting. They usually have something decent on them. And there you go. Mm -hmm. 
Next thing, we are going to come on over here. Loot these boxes. We're going to break this box open. There's no reason to waste our lockpick on it. And we're going to come up here and find our buddy Asterian. Alright, so now that we have Asterian, we're going to come over here and get some real easy XP. By smashing this Mind Flayer's head. And then we're going to come up north here, and we're going to find Gale. All right, so now that we have four party members and we could reasonably... <clears throat> All right, so now that we have a core member of four here, I would recommend going ahead and leveling up. All right, so after we finish leveling up, we are going to go and get Lizelle out of her trap. And after we have killed the tieflings, we're just going to shoot the bottom of Lizelle's trap out. All right, so with the tieflings down, at this point, I would recommend doing a short rest just to heal yourself up. And we're going to start making our way to the Evergreen Grove. Now, when we get to the grove, we are going to initiate the goblin fight. All right, so now that we have the goblins down, don't forget to loot everybody. And we will make our way to one more encounter before we go to the vendors. So we're going to have an obligatory conversation over here. All right, so let's quickly head up here, and we're going to help this tiefling out from getting attacked by the bugbear, just for a little bit of extra XP. And we'll talk to her real quick, just so we can get her soul coin. Now, let's go down to the first vendor, and we're going to sell all of our junk, and we're going to pick up some gloves from him. And before we do that, I really do recommend going ahead and sorting your stuff by type. 
All right, so basically all this stuff we can just sell for a little bit of extra gold. And let me just check on that armor. Oh yeah, we don't need that. All right, so we'll go ahead and barter that. And the gloves we want to buy here are the gloves of missile snaring. And we're going to have plenty of extra gold, so we're going to buy that. And just in case we want it later, we'll go ahead and buy the ring of flinging, although that has absolutely nothing to do with what we are doing now. Next, we're going to ignore everything in here for now, and we are going to go talk to Auntie Ethel down here. And we're going to go with, I'm just here for trade. And we want to buy the invisibility potion from her. All right, next, we are going to go through the stone door here. And up the ladder over here. Once we are outside, we want to go on over here, and we're going to jump over to this pathway over here. Now, what I recommend doing is jumping down over here. So we are going to disband the party. Jump down over here. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Because we're going to use a rest. Oh, Shadowheart, you got stuck back here. What happened? Oh, heck. Oh, no, we're okay. And finally, we'll get Gale down here. Now, there may be a better way to get... <clears throat> now, there may be a better way to get to this area. I am not sure. This is just the way I always do it. If there's a better way, let me know in the comments down below, but that's the way I always do this. So we did take a little bit of damage, so let's go ahead and rest up. And we're going to go kill the twin or the siblings over here. All right, and that has us to level three. So now that we're level three, let's go ahead and level up Gale so that he gives us invisibility.
So here, there are two skills I really like to take. Shatter is very good, and we are going to need invisibility. All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go down here by the river. Down, 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 down by the river. Go across and up this craggy rock. Now, if you have a soul, this next part is required. We're going to get the good boy scratch because we don't leave good boys behind. All right, so now that Scratch is going to be waiting for us, we're going to go over here to this river and hop over onto this rock and then over to the shore. Now, this next part is not required, but it will get you off to a really good start. We're going to go over here to this hidden skeleton under these bushes, and we're going to get the Smuggler's Ring. This is a fantastic item for someone like Asterion. So we're gonna go ahead and give that to him and we're also gonna give him these gloves. And our skill monkey is well on his way to doing his job. And next we're gonna come on over here and we're gonna get Carlac. Assuming everyone is able to follow me. Come on, guys. You can do it. Maybe you can't. That's all right. We'll coax them along. Sometimes they need a little bit of convincing. And don't forget to pick up the toll collector's key over here. All right, so now Karlak is going to meet us back at the camp. And we are going to come on up here. We're going to walk up the... We're going to climb up the ladder. And we're actually going to go past this place. So we are going to, actually, let's make sure that we get the portal over here. There we go. And we're going to come on up here. All right, we had a little bit of an oopsie there. All right, we had a little bit of an oopsie there, so be very careful. I would actually recommend just coming down this way so that we avoid the fight going on over here. We're going to come on down here. And we're going to start some mess with these guys. So they are all nice and grouped up for us. That is great. And we are going to throw down some shatter with Gale. Oh, wow. That miss? Interesting. Alrighty. Not to worry. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're in good shape. 
All right, that is one of the more difficult fights on this route, but now we are essentially home free and we can get to the bridge that we are trying to get to. So we are going to come on up this way. <clears throat> And on down here. And we want to make sure that we don't trigger anything in that town because we are going to come back there very soon. All right, so. This is a good place to go through a checklist of sorts i already see that we've missed something but we want again we're going to make sure that gail has invisibility on his bars we're going to make sure shadow heart has command on her bar and we are also going to make sure that we give shadow heart potion of invisibility And we are also going to give Shadowheart the Gloves of Missile Snaring. We're going to go over to Shadowheart and equip those gloves. And then we are going to come on down here. We're going to make a save just in case. Always save. And we're going to come on down here. We're going to trigger that cutscene. Skip on through. Now, here we are going to separate our party. So we are going to toggle off group mode. We're going to highlight Gale. And we are going to now go into turn base mode. From here, we are going to cast invisibility onto Shadowheart. And now we're going to use Shadow Heart and only Shadow Heart to creep on up behind Voss. And one more ought to do it for us after this. All right, so now what we're going to do here is sneak up behind Kithrak Voss. Now, before we do anything else, what we're going to do is make a quick save. So, here we are simply going to try and cast Command Drop Weapon on Commander Voss, or Kithrak Voss. And if he drops the weapon, that is great, but... More than likely, because this is only a 9% chance to drop the weapon, it might not work. So let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. So we didn't get it, so we're simply just going to load our previous save. And from here, this is just going to be a process of rinse and repeat. I've had it happen nearly right away, and sometimes it's taken me quite a number of tries. All right, so we got the weapon to drop. And I don't, like I said, I don't think there's a way to get through this dialogue where it doesn't end in a fight. But we'll give it a shot. We got some bonuses to slide a hand. Let's, let's see what we get here. Now, it is going to show your full party on screen here as being in the as being in combat, but it is not going to be the case. I never can roll a 10 on this one. That's okay.
All right, so when combat initiates here, we're going to have some very... Oh, this is not a good combat. But you see, we get our missile snaring here. We didn't get it. Not looking good so far. This this might be a wipe. Yep. So unfortunately, we did die there, but that is not the end of the world. We are simply going to re-roll the save. Or we're simply going to re-roll the save. Reload the save. There we go. I know how to talk. Ew, that's not a good one. Come on, give me like a night. Ooh, all right. Critical success. I'll take that. All right, well, this has never happened. Let's see what we get here. Oh, all right. Well, they're still going to attack. Oh, no. Okay. All right, so that is apparently the optimal way to do it. But, all right. So, that's the optimal way to do it. I was prepared to show you guys how to go through with combat. So, in the event that the combat happens, what you are going to do is you're first going to try and survive. Once you survive the initial onslaught, you're going to pick up the sword. You're going to hit your potion of invincibility. And you are going to then dash back to your party members back here. Uh, I do have, <laughs> uh, I I have a, I'm going to insert another clip that I have from a different playthrough, uh, just so you guys can see what you're going to be doing during combat. Lost in thought. Very well. Da, da, da. My faith will protect me. All right, so now that we are back, what we're going to do now, we're going to get our party back together. We're going to send the sword back to our main character. We're going to go to camp.
and we are going to tell Asterion he's sitting out. And we're going to bring Lizelle in and give her her new toy. Send that on over to Lizelle and equip it. All right, so there is actually a dialogue scene that I'm gonna put in another video on the channel just so I don't spoil anything for you guys in case you do wanna see it. Uh, it is pretty fun, um, but that's all I have for you guys for today. Hopefully this guide helped you out a little bit. If it did or you found it helpful or entertaining, hopefully I've earned your subscription. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good one.